While things are getting pretty tense on The Bachelor, the final is only a few days away. But recently on the show, when they were down to three, Claudia was the unlucky contestant that did not receive a rose. But she did receive an invite to come onto the cafe. How are you, Claudia? Welcome. Welcome, good. Thank you. Hey, it's a real pleasure to have you here. First of all, I must say you're a very pretty crier. Like, oh, I, I appreciate like, that. Obviously, you're very invested in this. I would have had, like, it would have been everywhere in my face, and you're, like, still looking beautiful. I was very aware of that. I'm like, okay, I'm sobbing and there's a camera in my face don't like, cry. Need to don't cry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> obviously you know you, you were sitting at home watching that back was it as yeah. hard for you to watch it back as it was to go through that initially no oh definitely being in the situation was very very difficult but watching back on it I thought it was going to be a lot worse and it was actually quite easy for me to watch I mean gives a little bit of closure definitely was a little nervous Mum shed quite a few tears, Aww. but it was okay. You should have picked her, Zach. She's a gorgeous girl. No, she's just like, are you okay? Are Aww. you okay? And I'm like, Mum, you have to know. Like, I've lived through this. Like, it's fine now. I've got my head around it, and I found peace with it, and I'm okay. And she's like, all right. Because obviously getting down to the final three, you're not just there for the show, for the ride. You're actually really invested in yeah. Zach as a person. No, I really was. I really liked Zach. And it, you, you were obviously quite surprised, genuinely surprised, when he didn't I choose was. you. Yeah, I mean... I, I thought everything was going so well up until that point and I thought our connection was so great that I just didn't feel like I was going to go home. I couldn't pick any reason why I should go home. So, yeah, when it happened, I was kind of a bit taken back. Well, I don't think he could either. That's the thing. I mean, he obviously likes you all. Yeah. I mean, we were a pretty good group of girls. Yeah, that, and, and honestly, he seems like a really <laughs> nice guy. He is. I would definitely give him that. He's a very genuine, very charming, kind guy. Mm. So are you finding now that you, after the show, that you are getting recognised around town a lot? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit odd. Something getting, definitely to get used to. Are you getting propositioned? <laughs> yeah, a few. Kind of. It's, it's Who exciting. comes up to you? What sort of people come up to you? I get a lot of like young little tweens. They yeah. love photos. They really love it. And then I get a lot of mums and then a lot of grandmas. What about you? You'd be perfect for my grandson. I know, yeah, exactly. And they're just like, oh, you just look so nice on TV. Da, 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 well, thank Here's you. his name. <laughs> what was the most uncomfortable part about the show for you, Claudia? Uh, most uncomfortable part was probably sometimes when you're really like getting, in, I suppose, in touch with your emotions and you're talking to Zach about that kind of stuff. You become very aware at that point that there's lots of cameras around you and there's people writing mm. notes about what you're saying and things like that. So it makes you feel a little bit on edge. And so that was probably the hardest part for me. But otherwise, I tried to just stay as comfortable as possible and I really enjoyed the people around me and got quite used to the whole situation in the end. And so it wasn't actually all that bad for me. Now but I'm going to bring to your attention what, um, a particular publication has listed the reasons why they think <laughs> Zach ditched you. Um, number one, Zach hasn't seen Harry Potter and has no idea who Moaning Myrtle is. Well, you did a good is that fair? That's pro yeah, that is fair. I actually don't think he knew who Moaning Myrtle was at all. But to be fair, I'm not even a huge Harry Potter fan. Right. I just like doing voices and I liked that one. So. Okay, now this is good because we're clearing it up. Um, <laughs> she tricked an elephant with a bit of pumpkin so she could score a single date with Zach. Well, it's sensible. Well, not confirm or deny. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> the elephant chose me. I think that was fair. <laughs> and also they wrote that you take chess too seriously. Do you? Oh, I don't no, think you take it seriously. A, it was such a fun game. Lily and I were having such fun. Like, turns out I actually don't know how to play chess, and I'm trying to teach her how to play, and we... Afterwards, the crew were like, Toss, you guys played that so wrong. And we're oh. like, oh. <laughs> we're making up Sorry. special bachelor rules. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I thought we played really well. OK, well, we're down to the last two. Um, you know, you came so close, and obviously you were there for the right reasons, based on the emotion that you showed. Yeah. Who do you think, out of the two that are left? Uh, it's pretty hard to choose, just because both the girls are so very different. Yep. But... But choose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, I would say he'd have a brighter, safer, more stable future with Biani. Mm. Oh, there you go. Heard it right here. Claudia, thank you so much for everything yeah, you gave you. us on The Bachelor. Give oh, a round of applause, everyone. And the final of The Bachelor screens on TV3 on Sunday night with the women tell all on Monday. Who is going to win? Okay.